everybody. So we are going to our first location right now, which is the diner that she goes to a lot with her dad. We're really stressed because we just landed in Portland. Basically they close it too, because it's like a diner obviously in real life as well. And it is currently 1.46 and we are two minutes away. We have no idea if they're gonna let us eat, if we're allowed to go in still. We don't wanna be that person that comes in and tries to order two minutes before close. So we will see if we make it. If not, we'll at least see the outside, but fingers crossed they let us in. Look at it! It's a lot more little than I thought. Yeah, here's the, remember <gasps> this is out the window where they were all playing in the parking Stop. lot. I'm freaked out. <laughs> and it's like the, you could have asked for like better weather to describe the movie too. No! Mom Are just tried to go in. They're close. We can come in and take pictures. They're being nice. <gasps> Guys, I'm so sad. I wanted to eat right there. This is the table. From our research, the tables are different, but this is like the same everything. Thank you so much. Wait, we're going to the back? Are you sure? <gasps> oh my gosh. You're kidding. Wow. super nice and let us come in even though they close. So basically we were able to go in and see the exact table where all the scenes happened. Next up, where are we going? Cause they said that there's somewhere literally across She said the, the bridge, street. you knew it Aaron. Where it's the... the scene where he, it's like the drag scene where he's like, when the lion fell in love with the lamb. Or no, something. that's, that's the like, one. So we're gonna go there. I found this sign here. Okay, so this looks like, oh my gosh. So yeah, it was right here. It says the unveiling, I thought you didn't like me. The lion and the lamb with the rock. Your strength doesn't scare me and jumping jumping around. The vampires just doing their damn thing. Flying and jumping around through these woods up here. I can just envision them dramatically leaping across up here. And then Jacob coming and running out of nowhere getting triggered like he does. Anyways, that's so neat. Wow, with all the fall leaves, this is literally insane. So just all in here. It looks like all these scenes were filmed. It says Edward, his shirt open, standing nearby in the shade of some trees, watches her cautiously. She takes a step towards him, but he holds up a hand. She waits. Why are they literally narrating it like they do all cringily? Finally, he takes a deep breath and steps out of the shade. That's why we don't show ourselves in sunlight. So this is the big scene where Bella finds out he is a vampire. That's so cool that they have like actual signs telling you. That is so bizarre. This is right where all of that happened. Wow. Guys, that's so bad. Always. I was spilling on myself. <laughs> I'm so, how did this even happen? What a spilling lesson. I'm so upset. I just got this sweatshirt too, and now it's gonna be ruining the rest of this. We'll get a napkin and wipe that. That needs more than a napkin. wondering where we were headed to next. We are currently at our inn for the night at Cannon Beach, which is where a lot of the scenes with Jacob, a werewolf and around were filmed. I can just envision it in my head and I see the water over there and I'm so excited to go over there. But we just had the most beautiful two hour drive to get here. So it went by so fast. It was like on and off raining, so foggy, just totally gave off the twilight vibe, which was so fun to see with like all the fall leaves. But we're gonna check in, get situated and figure out a game plan for searching for Jacob in the werewolves. <laughs> okay, I'm not doing that. That's so cringe. I, I'm cringing. We just drove up to the iconic rocks at Cannon Beach where not only Twilight filmed, but The Goonies, which is one of my favorite movies growing up that my dad always made us watch a million times. Look how freaking cool this is. First, I need to run across the road and make sure I do not get hit by a car. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my God. It looks so small on camera, but it's huge. Huge. All right down there. Also, these waves are massive. Aaron's loving it. <laughs> Aaron's a big Goonies fan. Ah, it's cold! It is absolutely free. Oh, we have... <laughs> 
We got a cowgirl on the loose. And now we got another one coming in. Coming in hot, everyone. Actually freaking out right now. I have seen quite the animals in my day in the desert, but never have I seen Easter bunnies as pets. <gasps> They're so cute. Are they aggressive? Hi. Oh, I love that one. What are they doing on the beach of all places? This freezing cold beach does not seem like bunnies belong. Anyways, we are gonna go eat in there. So I'm going to leave the bunnies alone to eat. Here is the room for the night here in Cannon Beach. Good night. Isn't this place great? It's awesome. Okay, update looks like we're not going to bed quite yet. I had to go grab something from the car because my camera battery's out there and we open the door and there's a thing of raccoons right outside. What do they come jumping out at me? Oh God, I'm scared. Okay, no dude, they're like right there. I'm scared. I'm really scared, Aaron. Oh, it's like, it's great. It's like creeping towards us. Like I'm not even Wait, did you get a video of it? No, I'm not even kidding. Aaron. It was like this. Aaron. Phone it. No, I feel like I'm here. Aaron. I'm not even kidding. Aaron, stop. I'm doing this. I have to get my camera battery from the car. I can't do this. If you open the door, what if it runs in? That's what I'm scared of. I keep hearing it. Guys, we sound like such Arizona bitches right now. No, seriously. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, the picture went in. Yes. It's right there. Good morning, everybody. It is another rainy day, but that is to be expected here. We are going to be headed out of Cannon Beach in the next like hour. We're going to get coffee and go to this saltwater taffy place and then head to our next couple of locations that are actually in a different part of Oregon. All right, anyways, let's go get some coffee and start this next twilight day. So windy and I don't know how to deal with the rain. The last time we put an umbrella was probably when I was six. Oh my God. Oh. Okay, I need you to hold my camera. random parking lot here but I don't know if you guys can see this little PF Worthington sign is actually where he whips up in the car when she's getting like harassed by all of those guys he comes and whips up the car and you can see the sign right there and there's a building that we believe is this one should we go over there and see if because now we're looking there's two <laughs> signs this one says what does that one say I don't know but we should look for stairs and yeah so basically the area that we're at we're in St. Helens Oregon and there's a lot of little locations like the bookstore the dress store, a lot of the restaurant, the alleyway, and we're just gonna kind of explore all of those and put them together. Okay, Erin's walking over. Oh, now she's trotting over. Oh my God, it was. This is full of parking lot, and you would never know this. Just this random parking lot here that looks extremely normal. <gasps> Does it have the sign? Oh my God, it was this parking lot. And then you can oh, see the, here. literally right here, I'm gonna insert the picture. So you can see the sign, she's right here, and then that sign. Right over there in the alleyway. So we're gonna walk over there and see. Here's the stairs that she was just when we were watching, she walks down these. These stairs? Yeah, she walks down stairs. <gasps> They're over there. Shut up. This is the alleyway that literally right before, so she's waltzing up here. They're following her, and then she comes right there. Hear the voice within calling this heavy load got under your skin. Well, I'm really having my Bella moment, just everything I do being really extra for no reason. <laughs> All right, and coming in hot right here is the restaurant that they ate at after where, oh my God, there's a picture of them in the window. Look, it's the whole, it's all of them. Oh. See Whoa! It? Oh, now it's an attorney place. Damn, you literally see them in the windows. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but yeah. Edward just popping off over there. That's so cool. So on this the was left. the restaurant. 
Oh my God, that's so weird. And that's right there out the window. Don't you say it. I can't hear it. So the store that we just went in actually had these maps and it's the store where she went dress shopping with her friends right there. And so they have these maps in there and it was like a Halloween town based store with a bunch of like merch. But that was the actual filming place of that. And then, but so cool. It has like different stars next to the Twilight locations, the Halloween town locations, and then just like scary, creepy, dark history and haunted places in town. So if you come here, definitely go there and grab yourself a map. The last location that we have here in St. Helens for Twilight is Bella's house, which I think is gonna be the greatest of them all. So we're gonna drive about five minutes and go find it. Oh my God, here is Bella Swan's house. It looks so different. Oh my gosh, you're kidding. That is actually insane. The amount of scenes that I can just envision that were filmed all throughout here. I wish we could stay there so bad. Also the cowgirl hat has come back on. This is probably the coolest one so far. You can take pictures and you can this and that and you can't do this and that. And they're like, but you can tag us on social media and they actually <laughs> they have a social media for the house. You're kidding. Jacob and his dad like pull up and then they're like out effing around with her new truck. Oh, right. Remember when he like fixes it? Would that have been like here? That's where the truck was and then that's where it they're- was right here? Yeah. <laughs> Try and act different. Be different like Bella Swan. I feel like the cowgirl hat's not adding the effect of being different enough. My interpretation of Bella leaving her house for school. Since Erin thinks that she can do so much better than me, here's her interpretation. Hello everybody, so it is the next day and we are headed to probably one of the coolest locations yet. We are going to the high school that Edward and Bella and all the friends went to. It is in Calamo, Washington, which is actually pretty close to where we were yesterday. You just cross this bridge and then you're in Washington. We have found the high school. Here it is. Oh my God. This is literally the parking lot. You saved her right runner. there and they're all hanging out right here. This is so crazy. Literally right there. That's his parking spot where she almost gets hit and then she's like having that dramatic realization. Why am I scared we're gonna get like yelled at? I know, this feels kind of weird. We're gonna only be here for a second, but. Which parking spot do you think it was? I literally, why do I feel like it was this? I think it could have been. What the wow. hell? Okay, this... well we're gonna take some pictures, but this is freaking cool, and, oh, mom has the seat pulled <laughs> up, wonderful. Start back here. Edward was right here! Put a picture of him and then me right here. All right, here's my interpretation of Bella leaving her high school to go to her little red truck. I am so excited for this. Oh my gosh. Also, we are currently on Thurman Street. We had no idea. We're just doing our map to get there and it's literally called Thurman Street. It's basically so what everybody, um, they add an R to our last name. We're pulling up. Go mom, go. Go mom, go. Oh my oh, God. The it's the house. It's at the parking. Ah! <laughs> I'm freaking shook. This is oh so distinct. God. Oh my god. Is that the driveway that she like comes out talking about imprinting and shit? Yes, Ellie's oh, like the coolest house. Oh my god. Oh my god. Mom is trying to convince me to go up and take more pictures, but I feel weird doing that because it says not to park or do anything. So we just came down and now we're not near the house, but it's right up there. So distinct to the movies, it's actually freaky. It's just such a like eerie, modern, like futuristic kind of house, especially compared to all the other houses in the movie. Very, very cool to see, but I think that is it for our locations. What a great grand finale for our locations. Well, I guess I'll see you guys back 
in Arizona. What of you? Cullens, you did great with your house. Well, we've teleported a couple weeks ahead and we're back in Arizona. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing some of these places come to life. It was such a cool experience and I really miss it. Washington is awesome. And so is Oregon. I actually really like it there. I want to spend more time there. Anyways, I love you guys. Thank you for watching and I will see you soon. Also, yeah, I made nails. Ew. Okay. That's... She's Bye. a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her.